Hi, welcome to Kairos House. Today we have an unboxing for you. Um, it is the Wahoo Element Bolt in uh, limited edition colours. Um, I got this one from Wiggle. You don't have to go to Wiggle. Um, that's just where I go. So, let's open it up using our trusty safety knife. Ooh, nearly cut my thumb off. Not with that, I think. I'm more likely to snap the blade than uh, cut my cut my uh, thumb off. Right, let's get into the box. Airbag. And here it is. The Wahoo Animal Bolt GPS bike computer. I got the yellow one. You can get a red one if you choose. Um, at the moment, I'm not sure how long they're going to be around for. Uh, let's have a look around the box. Some stuff. Stuff on the back. Simple to set up, apparently. Very easy. Unfortunately, I won't be able to set it up today because I'm actually filming with my phone. So um, um, it will just be a uh, look around it. Having a lot of problems with my Garmin at the moment, connecting to Wi-Fi. And um, I figured I could sell it um, and be able to buy this and still have some money left over. So I bought this, we'll set it up, um, I'll start using it, and then later on I'll sell my uh, Garmin Edge 820, which I've only ridden it for 388 kilometers. So, um, right, so the box opens uh, with a magnet on this side. Yeah, there they are, you can see them. One there, one there. A nice, uh, nice little thing. So it opens up. There's the baby, and we've got um, designed for performance. I don't think I'm going to be using this mount. I'm going to um, change the Garmin adapter in the front of my out front mount, um, my stem one on my bike, and I uh, put in a one that's compatible with this if I can. That's my plan anyway. So, uh, we've got screens we can have, climbing screen, maps, um, text and phone alerts, Strava Live segments, kicker control for if I get ever get a uh, indoor trainer, that'd be cool. Um, and set it up on your phone, this is going to be awesome. There's also some writing there, if you can speak, I don't even know, it's Korean, the top one. And Chinese, don't know, don't know Japanese, don't know what CHT is. Forgive my ignorance, but I don't. So let's pull it out. A nice little tray. So we'll get rid of the box up over here and we'll concentrate on this bit. So, um, nice packaging. What we'll do is we'll take, pop that out first. And then that will come out in a minute. So let's have a look around this. So uh, pretty much similar size to the Garmin Edge 820. I'm not sure if that will fit a Garmin uh, mount, but I'm going to have a go anyway. If not, what I'll do is I'll take uh, one of the ones from the box and I'll retrofit it. So um, we've got Bluetooth. No, that's USB. Uh, sorry. That's USB. Uh, port there, nice, nice and nice and um, good cover there. Uh, two buttons, three more buttons, another button. Well, that's the power button. Lap, pause, page, and um, it looks like an up and down button there. Charging port and syncing, but I'm going to sync over Wi-Fi. Um, that looks cool. I like it. Alright, let's see what else is in the box for the moment. So that just comes out. That's uh, pretty sturdy. Nice. So what have we got in the box? We have a USB charging and syncing cable. We have got a bar mount. And we've got that aerodynamic out front mount. We've also got one to the four zip ties, or cable ties, depends how you want to say it. 
We've got important product information. How important, I don't know, until I open it up. Doesn't look very important. Well, for a start, I can't read half of it. Let me just check. No, I can't read that side at all. Not because I didn't go to school, but because I don't speak those languages. Okay, we found the English bit. It's a limited warranty. I don't know how long it's warranted for. I'm not going to read it all. It just says, uh, don't, don't break it. Pretty much. Okay, and then we've got a element bolt quick start guide. And this isn't very long. One, two, two sides. Download the element app. Pair. Pair with your phone. Turn it on and make sure Bluetooth is on. Mount the bike and ride. Seems pretty easy. I'll let you know how easy it was. Um, what I'll do is I'll just do this. Then I'll set it up. Then I'll film again and I'll tell you how easy it was. But let's get into the packagings. So we've got... This is the Aero front mount. It comes with an optional locking screw. And um, now I did hit, uh, I watched a GCN video, um, and they said that you can lock it, yeah, through that little hole there, see? So you put the screw in here, and what that allows the pros to do, because they've got to weigh their bike with non-removable things, so that if they lock it in, that now becomes part of the bike and they can weigh it with it attached. Otherwise they've got to take it off, apparently, and uh, weigh it without. So, um, the mount is pretty, because I've come from Garmin, where it sits this way and then you twist it. This one doesn't, it actually goes in on that angle and then it twists. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll see how I get on with that. Okay, next we have, let's have a rip it open, the uh, handlebar mount. Now this is an interesting one. That's the handlebar mount. It's got a much more sturdier um, gripper than the Garmin, definitely. Um, that's like a little, that just sits in there. And then you use the cable ties, or zip ties, I'm pretty sure, to put them on. There's no bands, as there is with the Garmin. There's rubber bands. Not actually rubber bands, but stretchy bands. And we've also got this uh, sync cable. Or charging cable, or both. Don't know how long it is, so I'm going to say that's approximately... 30 centimetres from end to end. So that's cool. So let's look around this. Let's take off our uh, screen cover when I can find somewhere to take it off. Ah, here's a little bit. But because my man, I don't have any nails. So I'm going to use the tool. I'm not doing very well, I apologise. Right, I've lifted that off. Is that it? Is that it? Just one side. I don't see the point of that. Right, so there's three bits. One on the power button, one on this side, one on this side, and that was it. There's no other labels to come off. Now I'm all stuck with labels. It's not very helpful. And there's one on the front that I did wonder why I could see something. So let's get into that one. There we go. So that's off. All right, let's turn her on. On. Oh. Oh. Wahoo. Is that it? 
Is that what it's going to do, yeah? And I'm about warming up. I didn't read, I didn't follow the instructions, did I? Oh, it's updating. Right. Right, I'll uh, stop recording there and then I'll come back to you and tell you how easy it was to set up. See you, bye. And welcome back. So, I've uh, set this up. <coughs> I've got to say, it was very simple. The only issue I did run into was because I didn't follow the instructions, um, I had to repair the uh, element uh, after I'd finished setting it up um, because it wouldn't find it. So what I did, I had to uh, delete the one that was in my phone and then repair it um, scanning the, uh, the code that you saw on the screen before. So always follow the instructions. Download the app first, then switch it on. That's what it says in the instructions. But man knows best and didn't follow the instructions. So um, let's get into it. Um, I'll just turn her on. There we go. While we're waiting for that, um, we're going to talk about the mount system. So, I was right, it does not fit a Garmin mount. However, cheekily, I just watched some YouTube videos and if I can bring this in, um, the guy, all he did was he, I'll bring this up close, he just trimmed these, trimmed these out, just cut out about half a mil off of each one, and then it fitted in. Fitted? Is that the right saying? Fitted in? It fit. Anyway, it went in. Um, so, um, on the Garmin, it actually sits that way. You put it in, turn it and it sits like that. So um, this is a quarter the wrong way around. We'll come back onto that in a minute, how I got over that. So um, first things first, uh, whoops, as he shakes his, uh, right, so this is the, um, that's the default page. So we've got uh, miles an hour, let me just bring this closer. Speed, how many miles you've done, what the time is, uh, the cadence, average miles an hour, maximum miles an hour, meters climbed, gradient, elevation. And um, you've got another page. These are all the default pages. So you've got a climbing page, miles per hour, gradient, meters climbed, meters descend, VAM. I'm not sure what VAM is. Um, no doubt I'll find out, but I don't know what it is at the moment. Um, variable something, I don't know. And this um, is a pre is a like a profile of your ride. Yeah, so if you do a hilly one, it will be up like this. If you don't, it will be level probably. Um, next page. Maps, and um, that's how they look. I've set it to north up. Uh, sorry, to map up, not north up, because. That clearly is north. Um, and that's a custom page I set. Um, and you can see when I change the pages, there's little lights, these LEDs come on. So that's page one, two, three, four. It looks like you can have seven pages, but I've only got four. And um, this is the, the custom page that I set up. So I've got miles an hour, miles traveled. That's my DI2 gearing. Um, I need to know that because when I'm in the big ring and this one, this one here, and um, the next gear, it, it synchro shifts down. So I want, I'd want, i like to know what gear I'm in, because if I'm pushing hard on it, I don't want to change, because then I've got the front and the back changing at the same time, um, which might injure it. So we've got cadence, total time of the ride, average miles an hour clock, the battery percentage of the Wahoo, and my phone battery percentage, which is uh, what I'm recording on. So, wow, I've got 54% left. Um, and then back to page one. Um, using these buttons here, you can, I've just got it, so I pressed the wrong button. 
So you can zoom all the way in. So you can just have one, two fields, three fields, that four, five, six, nine. That's nine, not six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can have nine um, and just zoom in to whatever you want. And I think you can do that on any page. Let's check. Yep. In and out. Page. Oh, you can zoom in on maps as well. Nice. Let's zoom right out. How far does it go out? Oops, it's loading. Yeah. So there's Guernsey. Look, I live in the north. Ooh. I don't know what the default is. Probably that. No, probably that. So my custom page. Um, I said it like this. So as I said, miles an hour. Uh, how many miles? And my gearing. DR2 gearing. Um, what we've got here. Um, if you press the power button once, it takes you to this. Now, um, you can set the LEDs for uh, different things. Power, heart rate, off or speed. So um, what I've read is that if it's this side, yellow it's you're going slower than your average speed and if it's up here and it's blue i think you're going faster than your average speed and the middle one is average speed so um that might be something useful to somebody uh difficult to get the right angle so i've set it to backlight off i've paired my sensors my cadence and my shimano di2 you can add another one forget phone system info and uh it's like that um, so there that is a quick look around the element bolt so we'll just power it off and that's pretty funky and uh, we'll say yes so um, that's a quick look around the element bolt I'm gonna do a uh, video on the mounting um, options um, I've just seen, just before I made the second half of the video, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I've just seen a um, um, an eBay listing for a um, 3D printed adapter for the Wahoo Element Bolt to Shimano. So um, I'll have a look at that and um, we'll make a video on that, I think, because I might order it because it looks cool, better than faffing around with my, my other one. All right, so uh, that's the end of that. Like, subscribe if you like the video, comments down below, I'll try my best to answer them, every single one of them, and um, we will see you on another Kairos house. Take care, thanks for watching, bye.